to another Andy B two minute video. And I was having a conversation with a friend of mine over in Nigeria this morning and he was talking about something he was going to be doing and he wasn't very comfortable and he wasn't sure and all this sort of stuff. And we recognize that, don't we? We we can have these great ideas, really good ideas, and people can ask us to do things. We've got our own thoughts and feelings. And, and yet sometimes we can feel driven to doing things that perhaps we oughtn't to be doing. And it's something that he was um, talking about. It's something that I said, you need to be led, not driven. And I think that's really true. And it's really easy to be driven along through life. When difficulties come, it's really simple um, to be sucked in by it. It's really easy to uh, not take a step back, not to take that little pause to think, what is it I need to be doing here? What do I need to do as opposed to what am I being forced to do? Because if we're forcing people or being forced, you don't get the best results. And that includes for our own selves. If you're uh, looking after your own diary, um, by that I mean you, you control the work that you do or when you do it. It's easy to squash loads of stuff into a diary just because we can or we think it's really important or it matters. But actually, we need to make sure that we're being led, not driven, which simply means that the life isn't forcing us along all the time. There's always going to be stuff that comes along. We have to respond and we have to jump and run and get things sorted. But for the main part, we need to make sure that in all that we're doing, we're not being driven by life, but we're being led by what God is asking us to do. And then we'll have peace, we'll have all the energy we need to do whatever he's asking us to do for him. So be led, not driven. Just a thought.